With over 300 accepted species, the Penicillium genus includes some of the most common and yet mostly replaceable fungi on our planet. Indoors, they can grow on wallpapers, paintings, fabrics, houses, and water damaged buildings in general. Penicillium was discovered in 1928 by Dr. Alexander Fleming, who was a physician and microbiologist at St. Mary's Hospital in London, England. He was culturing Staphylococcus bacteria strains, and one day he noticed that one of his bacteria colonies left on the working bench had the strange green contaminations. Dr. Fleming realized that that mold, then considered to be Penicillium notatum, had prevented the normal growth of Staphylococcus colonies. Today, we know that this organism was in fact Penicillium rubens. He then tested and realized that this inhibiting factor can be used in combating the cause of diseases such as scarlet fever, pneumonia, meningitis, diphtheria, and an important sexually transmitted disease of that time, gonorrhea. Penicillium species are commonly referred to as either blue or green molds because they produce large masses of bluish, greenish, or yellowish spores. They grow rapidly and release a strong musty odor. Penicillium is a common allergen triggering allergies such as hypersensitivity, pneumonitis, and hay fever. It can also trigger or worsen asthma symptoms. Some penicillium species can produce microbial volatile organic compounds and toxins that can be harmful to human health. Like all molds, penicillium can develop wherever and whenever moisture is present. Some penicillium molds can cause food spoilage and mycotoxin contamination, and they can pose a serious health hazard when accidentally consumed. Despite penicillium having many beneficial properties and uses, exposure to this mold is no good for human health. If you suspect having a mold problem, call mold busters and we will take care of it. To become an expert in preventing mold in your home, visit bossmold.com and subscribe to our channel.